Hey, what's up? It's Fuel Your Life Friday. Let's go. Happy New Year, friends. Ah, oh, the first episode of the new year. I spent my new year with my fam bam and one of my best friends, Leslie, who's more like family after over 20 years of friendship. I know most podcasts and, well, probably everyone is hitting you with new year, new me, resolutions, intentions, and goals, and all that jazz, but I'm going to shake it up, and I'm going to hit you with five things that you can do to elevate your energy now that we're in the new year. Okay, so number one is evaluate your relationships. I've got to start off with this one, especially after having one of my best friends visit, For the most part, I've had the same core of best friends for over 20 years. My first friend in kindergarten is still one of my five best friends 28 years later. But that doesn't mean that my crew hasn't changed over the years. I've had friends drift away, most times without ill will. We just grew apart and we're in different phases of life. But I've also had friends that I've kind of had to break up with because they were energy vampires and we really weren't ascending at the same pace or even had the same visions in life. When you're evaluating your relationships, do it with all of your relationships. Relationships with your kids, your family members, friends, and yes, even your partner. If you're in a toxic relationship and you know it's time to leave, but you haven't been able to make that jump, remind yourself of your worth and that you are worth the relationship of your dreams. And don't forget to evaluate the relationship you have with yourself. This is a tough one if you are not where you want to be, but there is no better time than now to examine it. Number two, energy up, energy up, energy up. So podcast guest and mindfulness expert Sheryl Turner had taught me this trick a few years ago. We were about to get on a business call and I was having a very low vibrational day. I mean, I was pretty down. And she asked me how I was feeling and I told her I was not feeling my best self. So she told me to sit up straight and say, energy up, energy up, energy up. And say it three times. And when you do this, you're summoning your energy to rise But also, you really can't help but to say it with a smile because you feel a little silly, and that in itself raises your energy. Number three, visualize the best scenarios. So this can be super tough to do because it requires a level of mindfulness. We're naturally really quick at realizing and analyzing the worst that could happen. But what if you switch gears and you start to visualize the best scenarios? Visualize what your year looks like, the things that would bring you joy and allow you to live in abundance, whatever that may look like for you. Visualize it. Who's there? Where are you? How does it make you feel? When we visualize the best scenarios, we can truly begin to manifest them. Number four, feng shui your home. If you haven't caught the episode with Patricia Lohan, go back and check that one out. According to Patricia, feng shui expert, feng shui brings your home into balance and harmony. This means that making sure your home is completely aligned energetically to support what you want. And Patricia gives great tips and stories in our episodes. One of my biggest takeaways was how your bedroom should be set up. It should be perfectly balanced to reflect a balanced relationship. And also, don't leave knives sitting out on your countertop. After my episode with Patricia, I actually purged years and years worth of stuff that I had been holding on to, not consciously knowing how the energy of those things was impacting my life. So if you want to elevate your energy in your home and life, do a little feng shui. And last but not least, number five, personal development. You live, you learn, you upgrade. Investing in yourself and your personal development is a surefire way to elevate your energy. When you begin with looking within, everything becomes a little bit more clear, step by step, day by day. And yes, that line just sounded like it came off of a 90s show, step by step, Hey, that's beside the point. My take on personal development is that when you begin to kind of peel back the layers 
of self and understand more about why you operate the way that you do, you find that you give yourself more permission to be who you truly are and who you want to be. Your personal and professional development are made up of spiritual, emotional, intellectual, and physical growth. Evaluate each area of your life and think about where you can improve. So I hope that this helped give you some guidance of how to elevate your energy. And I hope that you are abundantly blessed in 2021. Oh my goodness, it still feels so weird to say that. And of course, that all of your dreams come true. I also hope that we continue to share this journey together. I value each and every one of you. And I am honored when you hit play and tune in and turn it up. I'll see you back here next week. But until then, remember, every level of life is an opportunity to grow. Be well, my friend.